Round 16, uh, no South African conference teams playing this round, so it's just the Aussies and the Kiwis. Uh, the Friday game is just the one, we get the Highlanders playing the Hurricanes over in Dunedin. Uh, it's an interesting one because the Highlanders, I mean at a glance anyway, they still seem a step behind the Crusaders and the Hurricanes. Uh, the Hurricanes are coming off a loss uh, to the Crusaders where they were made to look... I don't want to say ordinary, but not as good as we know they can play, for sure. I mean, the weather was obviously a factor in that game. It was pretty wet, and uh, the Hurricanes never really seemed to get things going. Uh, under the roof at Forsyth Bar, it's kind of, um, I don't know, it threatens to be a good one. We'll, we'll, I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, for the Highlanders, they've, they've not looked great in their last couple of games. Obviously, they got badly beaten by the Waratahs over in Sydney, and then they kind of ground out a win over the Reds over in Brisbane, but you look at both of those games and you can say, well, the Highlanders only had 14 men for most of that game uh, against the, the Tars, and against the uh, the Reds, they didn't have most of their big guns playing, so you can kind of write those off and say that was just, you know, an out of the ordinary week. Um, for the Hurricanes, like I said, that unbeaten run came to a pretty grinding halt uh, in Christchurch, so we'll see if they can kind of jump straight back on. Uh, for the Highlanders, Aaron Major will actually be back at the game. All reports say he's been on a bit of bereavement leave with his mum passing away. Uh, in terms of the players, Coltman, Whitelock, Frizzell, and Ben Smith are all back, so these are the guys who were kind of rested last week, and Aaron Smith started on the bench last week. Uh, he's back starting. Uh, Tui Loma's in for uh, Lomax in the front row. And uh, Hamilton's injured, so Renton takes the place as kind of backup halfback. Uh, for the Hurricanes, there's only one change. Gareth Evans is back, so Blade Thompson moves to the bench. Uh, also, Wes Hussein is on the bench as well, so back from his broken jaw. Uh, for the Highlanders, it's, it's, that's that big question. Can they keep up with the two big guns in the New Zealand Conference? And to be fair, I mean, they're undefeated at home. So... If they're going to do it, it's going to be at home. At home, they've looked like a pretty darn good team. It's just their away form has sometimes been a bit scratchy. Uh, if they can put in a shift against the Hurricanes, I don't see any reason why they can't beat them. And in terms of their playoff hopes, if they can somehow sneak into fourth and get a home playoff, you'd back them to at least go through one round. And who knows from there. If they're having to travel away... I mean, based on their form this season, you'd, you'd give them less of a shot. So it's a pretty important game for them to try and pick the Hurricanes back and try and make up some ground uh, in New Zealand. And if if they go and lose, then people are, before even the playoffs start, they're going to be writing the Highlanders off as kind of an also-ran behind the Hurricanes and the Crusaders. Uh, for the Canes, I mean, speaking of the Crusaders, these guys can't afford to lose another one. It's, it's all on between the Hurricanes and the Crusaders for that top spot in New Zealand. Uh, you know, the, 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 the Hurricanes are behind uh, now that they've lost that other game because they had a game in hand. Uh, but now they've... I think they've still got one fewer game played, but they've got equal losses. So uh, it's pretty important that the Hurricanes keep their run going. Um, yeah, they just need to put pressure on the Crusaders is, is the main thing. Um, but yeah, it's going to be tough for them. We'll see if they can get their back line going under the roof um, because, yeah, it was a bit of a struggle last week. The bookies have got the Canes by four points. So backing the um, backing the away team, which is in Super Rugby not always that easy to do. And like I say, especially at the Highlanders' uh, home ground, it, it's proven to be very difficult for every team this season. Uh, it's the last game these two teams will play before the June break, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how they go. Uh, let me know what you guys think is going to go down. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again for the next one soon. See you later.